Hi. Hi, I'm Robert. Robert. <laughs> Paul, nice is it? to see you again. I think I saw you for a couple of minutes when you were coming out of the studio. That's correct. Last week. Yeah. That's how we met. It was an amazing meeting. Yeah. You were just sitting there and. Um, I had just done a Harold Chan yeah. show, and you were coming out of the studio yourself. Yeah, uh, interviewed by Alan from New Realities TV. Uh huh. So, tell me a little about what I can feel, where your sight has um, withdrawn. Yes, I, I lost my eyesight in my right eye in a matter of two days five years ago while right. living in Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And then my eyesight on the left side is gone. Uh, I have about 10% foggy vision. Right. Um, uh, theoretically, with an MRI, there's some kind of a lesion pushing down behind my right optic nerve. Uh, so, and I, by the way, I feel very fortunate it isn't anything worse than that. Yeah. So I, I count my blessings every day. I say, thank God, you know, it's not anything worse. So I feel very fortunate. Great. Yeah. It actually comes from a different area to what you think. And what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, we've only really talked for about three, four minutes. We so have, yeah. So but I'm, I'm getting a feeling that it's coming from um, more down in the center of your body, just about halfway down the backbone. Um, there's a lot of stress there, and it's, uh, it seems like there's a lot of energy blocked there from frustration. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I do have a seemingly a broken heart, you might say, Yeah. Uh, because I put 16 years in a marriage, and uh, I directed all my energy, my energy towards my children, and in the clip you just saw at the demonstration in 1991, January, my daughter had such deep power and passion as an as a innocent child against the reality of war. Yep. And in that clip, uh, it sort of foreshadows what my wife was going to do eight years down the road when I'm trying to calm down my daughter. She's, I believe, uh, accelerating anxiety by saying, and they draft girls too. And, and okay. uh, well, first of all, there was no draft. But eight years later, she drove my daughter to the Air Force recruiting station. And my daughter's been in Iraq. And so uh, she's in military intelligence now. Fine. Learning the opposite of what I was, what she was actually learning on her own. It isn't like I gave her lectures. I think most children instinctively know that violence leads to violence. Great. So. Uh, Do you also know that she's there for a reason? Uh, I must say, it kind of escapes me right now, but I do know, having been a professor in the 70s mm -hmm. and having counseled for free Vietnam vets with post-traumatic stress disorder, that of course there are a lot of wonderful people in the military, and in fact there are rumors that the Pentagon has actually withheld uh, starting a war with Iran. I don't know if you've heard that, but there are a lot of people who just don't feel like uh, going overboard with uh, mayhem and destruction. Yeah. There's a lot of very special people yes, I coming do into the world. Mm -hmm. And your daughter's one? I do believe she is yeah. one, yeah. And she has to be where the source is to change its direction. Yeah, that's what I've been th hopefully yeah. thinking. So understand that, you know, even with yourself, you're, you're in and have been in the firing line for a long time uh -huh. of all sorts of information. Yes. And it's just like being under the the searchlight. Yeah. And all that focus is on you, but you can't move anything by getting hold of the searchlight. The beam is there on you and you can't do anything with that beam. Uh huh. So the only way you can move anything is to go back to the source where the searchlight actually is, where the light is generating from before you can move the focus. So I'd like to actually try to move the focus for you if we can, if we can so that you're not at the end of the beam all the time, uh -huh. where you're at, at effect of the light, of the, it's actually a darkness, but it's still a focus. And you go, go back to where 
you can actually make a difference. You can actually turn the torch, move the focus and change the world. It's not by thought. This is very important because the thought is the end result of the energy that you've been and the, and the focus that you've been under. So you've attempted all your life to move that beam and you can't move it from where you are. And so the inner part of you has to see that there's another way. And the other way can be so simple because all you have to see is that you have to be in a different focal plane to make a difference. While ever you're in the focal plane of discussion, of results, of disaster, you can't move anything in the consciousness because the consciousness is back at the source. So if we do, we're just gradually getting there, right? We're just kicking things around so you can feel that there is a possibility. Going back to the source. Yes. Uh huh. And when you go back to the source, you have all the answers. You have solutions. You have everything to present to say, move that focus. You have it all and it's in your heart. It's in your experience and it's in everything that you picked up while you're in that focus. So then you take it all back with the total solution and you present it at a level that can change the world. I'm not going to give you any detail on how you do that at this point uh -huh. because I know you're starting to feel it's possible. I, I think I feel all the time a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, so if we can actually just kick around the fact that there is another way and that it's a very elevated and very elegant way in you being who you are rather than be it effect of where you've been, you're going to feel a lot, lot more capable of just connecting and leaning back towards a totally healthy state in the world. Because you have that power and you have that experience, but more so because of the special person you are. Uh -huh. So now we're getting into the energy side of things where you've blocked the energy because you said this is not working and that's understandable. You mean once you distinguish that things aren't going the way you hope totally. going, that creates the block? It's totally. Uh -huh. Particularly with someone as powerful as you. You're powerful enough to shut yourself down. You're also powerful enough to shift the focus. I must say I'm, I've been having a bit of trouble doing that in yeah. the sense that um, what you're saying seems to be obvious, uh, yep. but it's so obvious it might escape me. That's it. And that's, it's like a, that's beautiful. a bad riddle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but that's beautiful. But uh, I think I need a little bit of help in your sort of giving an example of... Uh, yeah, well, remember it comes from your heart. Mm -hmm not from your head. And so if you start to connect further with your heart and know that it, know its presence and know its power as you used to, more than just love, it is that gentle, endless strength that always succeeds. Uh, are you saying it's connected to prayer and wishful intention in a positive way? No, I'm saying it's you and it's your heart and it will go anywhere and do anything that you desire. Physically? Physically, yes. Uh -huh. So it's a new concept to, to play with but it's one that you've, you've shown many people over the years and you've shown them that they've got to have heart 
or they disappear into this endless world of speculation and analysis until they actually get out of that analytical circle they can't move Which anywhere. It was a head trip, a thought yeah. trip. Correct. Yeah. So you've been showing people that for a long time uh -huh. and you do it by actually reflecting what's in you. Yeah. Uh, my former wife in the very beginning she used to say, oh everybody knows what you're feeling, you wear your feelings on your sleeve. Great. But it seemed like I was manifesting that. Go back, go back to that. Hmm? Go back to wearing everything on your sleeve, wearing your heart on your sleeve, your yeah. feelings, the whole, the whole bit, and the energy will start to flow such that you can transmit your total desire for the universe yeah. and for your family and for everybody else all at once. But, but I, I have, I, it's Robert, right? Yeah. Robert, I feel like I have been uh, letting my feelings show but I, are you suggesting I haven't been directing those feelings somewhere? Yeah. In space and time? Correct. To say, in this case right now, my daughter. Yeah, because it's a focus that you're, that you're trying to create while you're in the focus of all the problems. You can't stand in the beam, as I said, and actually move the beam to another place. You have to go back to where the beam originates. So if I'm hearing you correctly, the here and now thought process blocks the original feeling of love and concern from Correct. going to that source. Correct. Uh -huh. Now, love and concern is not going to do much if it's not felt. Uh -huh. So the only way you can have the world and your daughter and everybody else to feel the love and concern is if you transmit it straight back to your Creator, uh -huh. your God, your best thing, whatever you call, and allow them, allow it to be you, transmitted. You mean surrendering no. your feelings to a higher power? Not surrendering. Delivering. All right. Delivering. Through the higher power uh -huh. to your daughter. So liver, delivering through the higher power to those who are creating war. Uh -huh. Delivering the full solution through a higher power to government. Delivering through that higher power. Uh, could that be called prayer? It can be. Uh -huh. but you've but you are much more connected than that. You don't have to ask. Uh -huh. You never did have to ask. Uh -huh. The instant you decide and you have a total heart's desire, it happens. All the things that came out of nowhere for you in the past, all the beautiful things that came out of nowhere uh -huh. came because of that desire through your, your higher source. And it doesn't matter what you call it, the times that it happened, you weren't deep in prayer, as you know it. You were deep in, wow, I can do it. Yeah, I think I'm going back to the conception day of my daughter, uh, my first daughter, and uh, that was a wow Beautiful, experience. the energy's starting to flow. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Beautiful. to go back to the microsecond of... Uh, yeah conception with the pure energy yep. of... Uh, so that's, if that's the most important thing in your life, that is your source. That's how you picture your source right now. Uh -huh. And you go back to there and you deliver a total solution and it will be seen uh -huh. by all those who can make a difference. And it may not be the person you decide that makes the difference. You just deliver the whole picture of what's inside you so that it can be handled in the correct manner. Yeah, I, I made a uh, video letter to my daughter uh, and the, uh, 
the love and the conception of her took place after I had visited in Dallas, Texas, the yeah, uh, it's too the, direct. the JFK uh, assassination site. Yeah. And I was struck but by the... But can you see what's happening there? I'm going into a thought. You're going into Away the from end focal points, yeah. the results, not the source. No, but I'm just trying to tell you the antecedent of it, uh, source to the source okay. the day before. Yep. And uh, I was struck by the fact that tremendous evil had taken place right here. And in that acknowledgement, uh, uh, well, tremendous joy took place with the love and the conception of my daughter at in Austin, Texas, uh, actually. Right. Uh, and I... The, the last day we were together as a family, we were in Houston, Texas, and I, I wanted to go to Austin and explain all that to my daughter, but I got interrupted. My former wife put the children on a bus to Chicago saying, oh, they're going to go there and get an apartment, and Dad will be joining in two weeks, but that wasn't really her intention. Uh, maybe I'm over-talking it right now, but uh, those were the circumstances of the original source that got interrupted. I never got a chance to explain that to my daughter, and hopefully I can go back so that out of great evil can come great good. And it doesn't work like that. No? No, I'm sorry. Tell me, <laughs> tell me how you see it. I there is no need to fix the evil. There is only need to put everything in a perfect place now. Uh -huh. So if your daughter could feel the essence of the joy of the new world that you see, uh -huh. she doesn't need the rest, doesn't need any explanation, only needs the perfection of the world of your creator where everything is perfect. That, that's the one you see. You mean in the now? Yeah. But in the now and in the future, without explaining. I know, the but past. when you when you've used the term uh, the original source, that is the original source. The now. Yeah. Well, mm. I guess some. Uh, that, that is the original source, and that's why I keep. Only saying, the now is the now. Yeah, and and the ultimate of of whatever being you experience is the original source. Because it happens now, and it did happen now at that time. The source now can actually adjust that, but it doesn't adjust backwards. It just puts new in place. Just like your eyesight, uh -huh. it can be put back in place if you allow it to come to you rather than you trying to look out. <laughs> I think modern ophthalmology would be interested in that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you allow it, the gift to come to you, the gift of sight, is actually more than just looking. Yeah. What's, and, re what's <laughs> remarkable about what you're saying is that it's so obviously common sense, but we live in a world where these th thoughts are interrupted. And yeah. even myself, uh, I know I, there's much emphasis on experiencing the now, but they're, they're, they're words unless you can actually... So right now, it. we're yeah. sitting here, uh -huh. and, and we're connecting to one another, mm -hmm. and you can feel a difference until you talk about the past, uh -huh. and then the shutter comes down. Yeah. So as soon as you started to talk about the birth of your daughter, the energy started to flow, and the grateful feeling that you have inside actually showed on the outside. And at that point, everything was beautiful until you led into the difficulty. Yeah. Well, so I, I guess I got confused with your talking earlier about going back to the original source. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the original source is your creator. Uh -huh. Good, bad, or indifferent, it all fits. So in, in the world that you're, you're experiencing at the moment, it's good because I'm starting to actually confuse a few of the, of the patterns. And in confusing those patterns, will start to get an energy flow that you haven't felt for a long time. And that's my aim, so that you can actually have something more to play with than the past or the difficulties. And you can start to feel 
there is something active in you that can make a difference whether you can see or not. And then it's not important that you have difficulty or had difficulty. It'll disappear in the, in the joy of the beautiful feelings uh -huh. that you can allow in your life. Uh -huh. And you watch. If you're allowed to move the energies, you will start to the, feel... The God-given energies yes. that we all have. Yeah. They get uh, convoluted by our society and a lot and, of and thought. It doesn't matter why. Uh -huh. Because right now, uh -huh. you can play with that energy and enjoy it. And the pressure that you're starting to feel in, the, in your head at the back here is because there's an energy starting to move uh -huh. that hasn't moved for a long time. And you'll feel changes. Okay. Yeah, you sure are giving me a good talking to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I've heard this rap in a long time. Yeah. But it's, uh, it, it, uh, it sort of falls into place, yeah. what you're saying. Because and if you believe it to be so, it is so. No. No? You know it. You have to know it. You just know it. Yeah. I, I often tell it. people, mm -hmm. you know, if I came up to you and said, do you believe you've got a front door on your house? You'd yeah. say, no, I know. Yeah. And I'd say, but do you believe? And you'd say, go away. I know there's a front door there. Yeah. There is no comparison. They don't connect together. If you believe doesn't mean it is. Uh -huh. But if you know it is, you don't have any other questions. And you know your connection and you know your strength and you know you can make a difference to the world and you're very disappointed that it seems like it failed. It hasn't failed. Uh -huh. I can assure you what you're doing is so important to the world. You're just not seeing it at the moment and you don't want to see it until it proves to you that it's real. And so your body follows you. I think I've fallen victim at times, even last night thinking about coming on today, that I know my daughter uh, is a very powerful person for an eight-year-old in that clip, and maybe for most eight-year-olds, and that how could that all evaporate and go away? It hasn't. A, yeah, and, and the, the thing is to just kind of believe that it's still there and it will manifest itself. You know it's there. Uh-huh. And, and it's n manifesting doesn't determine whether it's there or not. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about your front door, you know that I've never seen it. I don't have to. It's there. You know what's in your daughter and you know what's in you. And it is much, much more than what's showing on the outside. Allow it to be there. You may have the faith and... Just allow it to be there. Yeah. Don't, you see, see what happens when you have to put a word to it? It becomes the same as all the other things you have to have faith in. No. Just feel it. Know it. Know it. And know that you are making a difference. I can assure you, you're making a really, very big difference. You're sitting here talking to people uh -huh. and, and you are actually considering what I'm talking to you about. Mm -hmm. You are actually considering that there is another way. And that is a beautiful thing. Transmit that to the world. You will allow people to actually change their world. Just like you will allow your daughter to change her world because as soon as it changes in you, it is transmitted to her because you're so closely connected. Uh -huh. The precision that you can have in making sure that your energy is such that it's perfect for her will change the world. This is true because you're transmitting it to everybody. And you're sitting back here using the skills of the unknown in the greatest way possible to support your daughter and everybody like her without anybody really understanding how you're doing it. Because it just is. Correct. Yeah, well, I, I mean, one of the reasons for coming on is to, as an educator, is to try to help other people they can see themselves through me yeah. or see their children through my... Great. And if you're going to actually 
pull all that energy back to where it's right now, it's constructive, and it's totally helpful to your daughter, everybody else will be able to do the same. Because they're looking at you and they're seeing that you're going, well, maybe, maybe I can do that. Maybe I can do something different. Uh -huh. Maybe there's a little bit more in me than I thought. But the only way that works is if you are aware that there is another way and that you can do it without knowing how. And that source actually is within you. Yep. Uh -huh. And it's a total connection to the greatest being that you can possibly know. I don't think, Robert, we get too many uh, reinforcing messages the way you're giving right now. Uh, and uh, the obvious goes unnoticed sometimes. And I think I've been stuck in that spot without uh, hearing, actually healing words. I, I get That's the good. feeling you have healing words about the way it, it can be done. Good. Or, or works. And you can start to feel a little pressure in your chest where your your heart is starting to respond. I think I can, to be honest yeah, with you. Good. <laughs> because uh, I, there's a lightning of the spirit, good. I, I think. Good. Um, yeah. And your eyes have actually changed. You think so? Oh, yeah. You're actually getting more active with the movement of your eyes. They're not just sitting there. So, oh, yeah. So I understand that your heart is, is your vision. Mm -hmm. And your heart is where you work from. Yeah. And your connection to your source, your creator, your greatest, your higher being, whatever you like to know it as, uh -huh. is there permanently. Just like you know your daughter is a special being that at one point demonstrated it highly. Yes. But it's not a case of losing anything. We come in here and we don't lose anything. So, so if I go into the that was then and this is now and the now is different than the then, that uh, tricking of myself into not believing can actually trigger. That's the, a good way of putting it. Yeah, the full yeah. circle back to her yeah, in the here and now. Yeah, but remember, you've just given your brain a demonstration uh -huh. and, and, a, and, and you've ticked some boxes in your brain. Does nothing. That's the old thought. No, well, it makes you feel better, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, well, sometimes it's hard to describe the... Uh, well, you don't. Yeah. Because remember, you can't transmit the, the beauty of your own being unless it's through your heart. Uh -huh. and, and when you're working with that unknown force that you know very well, just know it's like you have a front door. You have that unknown ability you are going to change it because that's what you came here for. And you're not going to ask how because you're the only one who knows how. Uh -huh. And your brain will never understand it. So just no. being and make the difference. in the it is, yep. is, is the light and, and the doubting and the uh, thinking that that was then and this is now, which is opposite, is the darkness. So that source actually emanates from within you. Yeah. And your interaction yeah. with people, as you're doing now, your interaction with people who are of similar structure internally, similar structure in, in divinity, mm -hmm. will actually give you much more confidence in the massive powers that you carry within your being. And, and I'm saying it to you, I'm not saying it to everybody. I, I think I'm catching on a bit here. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, been sort of in the dark, I guess, yeah. about it. So that, that massive skill that you have, that is undefinable by words, stands out to me so much uh -huh. that I'm saying, I know you have that, and I know that you are making a difference, and I know that there is another way. Thank you. 
and, and, you, and you're saying that sometimes you can try too hard to make a difference? If it's hard work, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, it shouldn't be hard. No. And it shouldn't be stressful. No. No. There is, you see, those names you've just given me, like hard and stressful, Yeah. they are really hard work. Yeah, they are. It takes a long time to build those. It's the Protestant work ethic yeah. <laughs> in our society. <laughs> yeah. Whatever is good has to be hard work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you're saying it's simplicity and the love and the joy in your heart mm -hmm. will just lift everybody to where everything flows correctly. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to prove it face to face. The connection you have at a distance is enormous. It's sort of the smiling Buddha. Uh, Beautiful. You just know. Yeah. And Beautiful. if you just know, you can smile and not be grinning That's about it. how hard it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these are, these are good words. Uh, I think I need. I I listen to a lot of talk radio. You know. Yeah. And I haven't heard this kind of presentation. Uh, and uh, I must say, uh, it makes sense. Or I feel it. I just feel it then. Uh, and I That's appreciate beautiful. your effort today. That's really beautiful. One of the things that um, you may come across when you walk away from our discussion uh -huh. is that you just physically feel a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So remember that that's our connection. And you can call on that any time you wish. This is what happens with the connection of universal beings. Uh -huh. That you threw your hand in the air and said, I need a little bit more here. And so somebody has turned up without knowing and you're getting that little bit more. Yeah. So never give it away and know that it's yours. That's a gift that you asked someone to bring and I'm bringing you that energy connection Yeah. To support you whenever you wish, and I'm only a phone call away. Well, thank you. Good, beautiful. Do you want to just? Great, it's a wrap. Do you have any closing comments there, Paul? Anything you want to say? How do you? Uh, mm -hmm. do you think I? Uh, I, th I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good. It it is. It's a lot to take. Yeah, in. I think we're good. Okay, beautiful. That was beautiful. It was great. Well, I hope so. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, for Robert. Accepting me. Thank you. Well, it's easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're not a little bit stressed because your hands a little cold? Yeah, <laughs> you're lying and warmed up. <laughs> yeah, I feel I should be giving back to you now. <laughs> no, I've, I've just I've just taken all that away from you. Have you, have you? Have you absorbed some of the pain? You think so? Yeah, yeah all of it. Geez, you have. All of it. Wow, is that good? Yeah, I just give it to the trees. You yeah. give it out to the trees. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think you have absorbed some stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it a all lot. to them. Go ahead. Give it all to them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. take it off. Yeah, just keep sending it. <laughs> no, really. No. Yeah, <laughs> do that. That's why we're okay. connected. Yeah. I can do that. All right. We wouldn't be connected if you, you weren't true. trans reabsorbing it, but I don't mm. want you to hold on to it. Oh, it never happens. You have a way of getting rid of it? That's that's me. Yeah. That's Alan, at any time. Did this go? Kind of okay for you. Right, <laughs> I, think, I think it did. Huh? That was great. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I. Yeah, I do. I yeah. It's beautiful. It's actually. have a look at his eyes. He's, he's, I can't. He's moving them much changes. more. Yeah. Huh? I You're moving changes. your eyes much you more. You do? Yes. Well, you yeah. just, you just block the light. Did you notice that? Yes. <laughs> what? I blocked the light. <laughs> yeah. Did yes. you see that? Yeah. No. What happened? What well, you just did both. But you unconsciously blocked the light so you could see them. So you'll yeah. find that there is a. You're allowing the vision to come to you. Yeah. So even if your eyes are broken, yeah, I can assure you, you can see. It could be a matter of the heart too. Whatever, mm. the eyes are the eyes, but I think the heart is the heart. Heart is the thing. The, the heavy heart is maybe <laughs> as, as the doctor so said remember, to me. Don't people die of heart attacks, not of blindness. No, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I know you made a point. Yeah. Yeah. So remember, it's yeah. very easy to reprogram yourself yeah. with words. With a minor adjustment. So remember. Well, you, I'll be looking at this. Uh, yeah. And use the word, maybe. I used to. I used to. I used to feel that way. Yeah. And this used to happen to me. Okay. 
And yeah, that's that's really it. great. I never heard anybody reinforce that term, used to. Also, mm -hmm. sometimes they say, up until now. Yeah, no. Up until now. No, or used no. to. It's used gone. to. Used to. It means gone. Yeah. Yeah. All right, how are you doing over there? I'm going okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> wow, this one has absorbed a little bit more. It's yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't yeah. be afraid to give all of it to Keep him going. because that's his yeah. job. Yeah, yeah th this here this is here. Uh, mm. a lot uh, closer to the <laughs> negativity. <laughs> uh, but just keep sending it. Huh? Keep sending it. It's beautiful. Send it? Uh, yeah, and I don't care. Oh, you mean in, in wishing you... Uh, Send the negativity out of you. Even if it's a war, you yeah. send the whole lot to me, we'll elevate Yeah, I was it. hoping to send some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that is good. You know, yeah, yeah. and I send it to the trees, and trees yeah. live on shit. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. Thank All right. You. Thank okay. you so much. Th thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. And um, when are you coming back? I'm not sure. Uh, okay. we, we leave for Australia on the 4th. Yeah. But we're only we're only uh, you know on Skype anytime. Well, let me feel that hand on my shoulder. <laughs> wow, feel? Th that this one's a lot absorbed a lot more stuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just come here for a second. <laughs> yeah. Very slight buzz. I want you to get used to it. The slower. Very slight buzz that will come into your body. Yeah. And I want you to just play with it and let it move like a dance. Uh-huh. It'll come to you more when you wake up in the morning. That's it, start, that's good. I think I feel your hand warming up a bit too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I don't want to give you too much at this stage, but just enough so that you start I think to feel relaxed. You're mm -hmm. Recalibrating me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel your hand warming up. Mm It's good your body's starting to know that I'm here. I think so. Yeah. 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 That's good. Slightest okay. little movements under my hand. It's. You think it's. It's slowly? starting to run its program. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's great. So know that your body can do anything. Thanks. <laughs> it can do anything. Yeah. And remember your remote connection to your daughter and to other people mm -hmm. is so clear that it's solid. Everything and you feel, you she it, feels. Whatever you, and when you think it's not, that's when you're in trouble. You're wrecked. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. All right, I won't do too much more. All right. But just, you'll feel the temperature change as I take yeah, the Yeah, I've noticed. Okay. Yeah. Oh, big difference. Wow. <laughs> Shoot. Let me this is still yeah. working its way out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Thank well, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. I'll All right. do this for you. All right, thanks. How many TV... Healings have you done? <laughs> <laughs> the other first. Uh, oh, really? two, two. Really? Yeah, there wasn't.